Okay, join me for race 19, the goat racing in Berkshire Maiden Stakes here at Newbury, where everybody's sunning themselves and uh, drinking champagne over at Ascot. So we've got a one mile, two furlong maiden here. Number one is Dan Dare, two is Drastic Para, three Favourite Lunchbox, four Gillian, five Gritzo, six Leif Erickson, seven Revenge of the Pig, eight is Super Concerto, nine is Treaty of Santiago, ten is Crossroads, eleven Millennium Millionaire, twelve Queen of Hearts, thirteen Sunny Spot, and fourteen Treco Bay. So they're already in the stalls. We're going to wait for the starter to get them away. Last couple going in. They're under starter's orders. And they're off. Over this 10 furlongs here at uh, Newbury. As we're going to let them settle down. It's drastic para and favourite lunchbox have come out a little bit wide, but out of the, right out of the middle comes Gritzo and takes a two to three length advantage from the rest of, within the first two furlongs. So it's Gritzo that leads us. Jockey just done a little bit pull now, might have gone off a little bit freely. He's allowed the others to come back up now and uh, slowed the pace right down as Queen of Hearts joins him. So these two now, I'm going to take them around this bend here at Newbury. Maybe by a couple of lengths to Dan Dare, Treaty of Santiago, Sun of Spot, Sunny Spot, sorry. Although they're all being pushed along a little bit here, they've already been caught out by these two, Queen of Hearts and Gorizzo. Then we've got Crossroads and Favourite Lunchbox, and Leif Erickson, the Grey Gillian. On the outside of that is Revenge of the Pig. And we're already a length ahead of Millennium. Millionaire, Millionaire, Drastic Para, Treco Bear at the rear and Super Concierto. But up front, as they hit the five furlong pole, it's Gritzo and Queen of Hearts that have definitely stolen the lead on the rest here. Queen of Hearts heads for home. He starts his move. Still got a length advantage over Gritzo. The rest are starting to plug on now and try and catch up, but I'm not sure if they're ever going to catch this. We're inside the four now. It's Queen of Hearts that's leading comfortably by a couple of lengths to Gritzo. Here comes Treaty of Santiago and Dan Dare against the fence. Outside of that is Favourite Lunchbox. The one moving more is Drastic Para. Here on the wide outside is Treco Bay, but Queen of Hearts heading again for home. Inside two and a half furlongs, Queen of Hearts leads now by a couple of lengths from Gritzko. Here come Dan Dare, Treco Bay on the outside. Drastic Para looking for some room. The other yellow silks of favourite lunchbox, but it's Queen of Hearts still leading this now. Furlong and a half left to run. Queen of Hearts leads by about a length. Here comes Drastic Para on the outside is Treco Bay, favourite lunchbox. Revenge of the Pig. Drastic Para just doses in front now. Drastic Para from favourite lunchbox. Revenge of the Pig. Trego Bay, favourite lunchbox, gets the lead from Revenge of the Pig. Favourite lunchbox, favourite lunchbox takes it from Revenge of the Pig. Great finish there. I think that's favourite lunchbox of Django. Can't see it uh, being anyone else in the yellow silks. Uh, like serious, but maybe. I could be wrong. I think Django's taken that from Revenge of the Pig for Joshua Sutherland. Drastic Para, third for Darren Thompson. Fair few didn't get into that. Long-time leader, Del Hinton's horse. Ended up, I think, being last. So, favourite lunchbox for Django takes it. Second is Revenge of the Pig for Joshua Sutherland, a new horse set. Third is Drastic Para for Darren Thompson, also a new horse on the block. Fourth was Treco Bay for Graham Clutterbuck. Fifth was Sunny Spot for David Robertson. And that was the five and the maiden. OK, let's get back to Ascot.